Okay guys, U-Box V200 volt, 100 amp, dual EC. What happens if one side on the whole sensors does not want to accept your motor? So I had this situation and I replaced the motors twice and I still was getting one side detecting the motors, the other side coming up at sensorless. So it was really annoying me. So this is what could be an issue. U-Box uh, or Spinted saying that this is now gone and the issue was sorted. However, if you have this situation, you can try this. There are four screws in every single corner of the aluminium enclosure. So use an Allen key yeah, and take it off. Then you do have two Phillips uh, little screws that hold the PCB boards together. Take them out nice and gentle. Then you need to pry the top layer of PCB of the bottom one. Do it nice and straight up. Don't pull it sideways because underneath you got all these connectors. They need to go in back how they were. Exactly this way. Boom. Make sure they're straight. Don't bend them. Now, when you take the top off, obviously you know where your hole sensors are. The, the plug for it. If you don't remember, just put the cover back on. You'll see the hole sensors. So this is the hole sensor plug right here. So what you need to do is, you need to turn it around. And for instance, if this is the side that doesn't uh, register, there is a black tape that goes over this. Neatly peel it off because you're gonna have to replace it and put it back where it was. And now, well, you will need magnifying glass for it. Because what you're looking for is and I'll take a, a closer screenshot now. I'll show you. You see these uh, small little pins, the, the weld uh, spots right there. What you're looking for is cross uh, soldering. So the machine wasn't calibrated correctly. Maybe it's just the batch one, original batch, because I had this EC from early start. But if you have any solder touching each other between uh, these contacts here, that will stop the censoring of uh, the EC. So this is how it looks like on mine. And it does match. So this side didn't work. Sorry, this side didn't work. And this is what you see now on the screen is the issue. You see where the two were touching each other. There we go. So now very carefully you need to clean uh, this solder in between so it doesn't touch. And then reverse everything back as it was. Put the tape back on, push these two together, obviously screws, yali blali, and do the detection again. That should work. That's it. Hope you liked the video. Let me know if that helps someone. This way I know if this video uh, should be recorded or not. Cheers, guys. Build safely, ride safely. See you soon.